So good morning people and welcome to Cooking on the Corsican. I know you haven't seen us for a few weeks, we've been very busy, but I have been asked to do this. I don't know why, it's not something I would ever have done on a vlog, but I've been asked to do it by more than two people now. In fact, three or four people have asked me how to go about doing a good fry up, a proper fry up. Now I am going to show you how I do it. By the way, it's Sunday, it's the 3rd of June. June. It's a lovely day and we're at Akel. And it's about 12 o'clock, it's about time for breakfast. So all I've got here is I've got my oven on at three, I've got a pan that I've heated and I've got some vegetable oil in it and I've got everything here for breakfast. Now, if you happen to be on a boat that only has two rings, this is what you want to do. You want to get yourself a pot and put fill it up with water, put that for the top and get yourself either a metal dish that'll fit in there or a metal bowl or a Pyrex dish with a lid and sit it on your boiling, simmering water. When the boil water comes to boil, turn it right down and set your Pyrex dish on it with your lid, okay? And then as you're cooking everything, you can just simply take it out of the pan and you can put it straight into your dish. If you haven't got a lid, use some tin foil and that'll keep everything lovely and warm. That's if you've only got a two ring cooker. The other thing that that's brilliant for, I used it for years, is we didn't have any hot water on the boat, only cold water, and the water that I used to have from keeping everything warm washed my dishes up as well. So it's a good idea, but as we've got the cooker and the oven, I'm gonna use it, and I'm only gonna use one pan, okay? In my opinion, the first thing you should start with is your sausages. So get your sausages in and get them on the go. Now I am not going to stand here and make you watch me fry sausages. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to just gently keep turning these sausages until they're cooked. And by the way, these are very good quality. They're from Archers the Butchers, who's award winning sausages for years and years and years. My opinion, when you make a breakfast, buy good quality stuff. You get what you pay for, if you buy cheap shit, you get cheap shit, buy good quality stuff, it's well worth paying the extra, and you'll thoroughly enjoy your breakfast. So while I'm frying these people, I'll see you when, when they're finished, and I'll show you the next stage of what you should do with your breakfast, okay? So I'll see you when you get back. Right. Okay people, I'm back, and I've cooked these sausages, and I've done them quite quickly. So they are actually not fully cooked all the way through, but they will finish off cooking in the oven and the idea of doing that is you don't want to take them out of the oven, they're all dried up and horrible. So I've slightly underdone them, so when they're in the oven they'll just finish off nicely in the oven. So there you go, that's a very good thing to remember, tray's nice and hot, in fact it's so hot it's burning through my damp cloth and my little fingers are getting it. You put your nice sausages in there, again, good quality as I told you. Straight back into the oven. Pan back up to good heat. And the next thing I always do is my bacon. Again, this is a very good quality bacon. I haven't skimped. And there you go, my three rashers of bacon are in. Once again, I'm not going to pain you by watching me fry this bacon, but I'm going to keep turning it, keep turning it, till it goes nice and crispy, and I, then I'm going to take it out, but I am not going to overcook it. So I'll see you when I get back, and I'll show you exactly where I'm at. So people, I'm back. I've not finished frying the bacon, but I'm going to show you a little tip when you're cooking bacon. Didn't you move it about too much, right? But I've put it in and I've let it cook on one side and I've turned it over. Now the next thing you do is just take a fork and just have a little press. And what that'll do is that'll help the fat to render out and it'll make the bacon nice and crispy. So that's all you do, but don't move the bacon about the pan too much. But it has to sit there to develop colour and caramelisation and that's where you get a good slice of bacon. So I'll see you when I get back after I finish cooking this break bacon and I'll show you. Yep. Okay people, here we are. The bacon's nearly done. It's got a lovely colour. Okay. I'm going to get my pan back out again here. So what I'm going to try and do with my bacon, right, 
is I'm going to try and set my beating on the bottom of the pan like that and again I haven't had this in the pan for too long have I Steve? No. Nope. It's been done very quickly so that it will just finish off nicely in the oven and it won't be overcooked. Okay, next thing, heat up black pudding. I'll tell you something about black pudding. Black pudding has to be cooked very quickly, very high, get it nice and crispy and get it out of the pan. That's the way it has to be done. Best way to do it. So, in we go. I'll actually just keep you here while I do the black pudding. Now you could smell, as soon as that black pudding touched the pan, Beautiful. we got a bust of So there you go, once again, don't mess about with it too much. Leave it sitting there, let it cook. Now I'm not saying by the way that this is the perfect way to cook a breakfast that I know more than anybody else. I don't know more than anybody else at all, but what I do know is I have cooked thousands and thousands of breakfasts in my life and I have cooked them for a lot of people. And you have to think when you're cooking a breakfast to start with the thing that's going to take the longest first and the thing that's going to be the least amount of time last. And that's how you have to work it out. That's very, very, very simple. And knowing your heat, some things need to be done at high heat, some things need to be done at a medium heat. But you'll learn that as you do it. So they've been in there possibly for about 90 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick the first one over that I put in, just to see what it's like. And it's absolutely perfect. Just pan in on that, let them see it, Steve. Yep. So I'm going to do the other side for another 90 seconds again I'm not going to mess about with it I'm going to turn it and I'm going to leave it alone the big mistake people do in cooking is they put something in a pan and they can't leave it they have to keep going why do people do that? leave it alone it has to sit there to cook don't fiddle about with it put it in a pan let it be there's always that temptation and it's probably just because people don't know any better but trust me, you try it but I'm going to stick to the bottom of the pan that's a very good non-stick pan so nothing's going to stick to it after this it's had about 90 seconds the only thing I will do is because the Corsican seems to be on a bit of an angle and I have got this full up this ring. I'll just, the oil seems to go to this side, so the cost can must sit slightly like that. No funny jokes. Right, I'll just have a look at this first one again. Okay, people, that's plenty. Perfect. Absolutely plenty. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you another little trick. Get your black pudding and don't set it on the bottom of the tray. Set your black pudding on top of your sausages and I'll tell you what will happen. Air will continue to get underneath it and it'll, it won't go all soggy. So there you go, there's a little trick for you. I'm giving away all my little tricks at no charge. I'll set that one there and that'll stay beautiful and crispy. Okay, next thing you're going is the tomato. These are very nice vine ripe tomatoes. Okay. Now, the pan's very high. I'm going to get a knob of butter. I'm going to put a knob of butter in there. Okay. Because it will help intensify the flavour. And I'm also going to put the mushrooms in as well. Okay. And you'll be amazed, you'll be absolutely amazed of the difference that little bit of butter makes. That's incredible. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep frying them, I'm going to keep waffling on. I'll come back to you when these are when these are done, and the tomatoes will take about the same time as the mushrooms, and I shall turn them once or twice. Okay, so I'll see you when I get back. You ready? Yep. Go, go. Okay, people. There's the mushrooms, the tomatoes. I'll show you what to do next. Okay, get your tray out. And your bacon that you've been leaving flat, now take your bacon and put it to one side on top of each other like that. Then get your mushrooms out. Because the mushrooms are going to weep. Because mushrooms will release a lot of liquid. So they're going to just rest in there for a minute and they're going to weep a little bit. So there you go. There's your mushrooms out. The next thing that's going to come out, I'm just going to turn my pan right down, is the tomatoes. And I'm going to put a piece of tomato there. And a piece of tomato there. And the other piece I'm going to just set there. Okay, I'm going to put that back in my oven. I've turned my pan right down. Now normally, I would put a clean pan up for eggs, but to be honest with you, there's so much beautiful flavour in that pan with the butter and everything. All I'm going to do is I'm going to get two nice eggs, back of your knife, watch how to do it, one hit, straight into the pan. Okay, next egg, one hit, straight into the pan. The pan's right down on low. I've turned it right down on low, and all I'm going to do now is just put a lid on it. Okay? While the eggs are cooking beautifully, it's now time to serve your breakfast. So you get your plate. Can we come on that side, Jeffrey? Come round this side, Steve. The time it takes you to serve this delicious breakfast, the plate, the eggs will be done. So, simple, simple. Get yourself a nice fork. Get yourself a nice slice of black pudding. And another slice of black pudding. Trying not to burn one's fingers. But I shall just lift this one out, actually. And I shall use this other bit of tomato. There you go. I shall get my three rashes of bacon. And I shall set them there. There you go, three beautiful rashes of bacon. I shall get three nice sausages. Three nice sausages. And I shall set them there. Now, I shall get my spoon with the holes. I shall just turn my eggs up for a second. And I shall just set my mushrooms there. Beautiful mushrooms. Cooked in butter. The smell is beautiful, isn't it? I shall set them there. There you go. I shall put everything else back into the oven for a moment. As this is hot. There you go. Steve will just pass me the egg lifter. done that is done there's my beautiful eggs make sure they're separated like so make sure they're well drained and there's one beautiful egg and there is two beautiful eggs Beautiful. So is that or is that not a beautiful fried breakfast and it's very easy Follow what I've told you and you'll never go wrong If you've enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up You know the score subscribe to the channel if you would it helps us but in the meantime Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye